We live a lush life, champagne, gold rain We get to be everything that we wanna be Running that red light, slide through Fast car, Malibu, I just want you only with me Okay, you guys, I keep trying to film my intro and it's just not letting me make fetch happen <sighs> Okay, I think I look decent, right? Right? Okay Hey guys, it's Fonz. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a DIY and it's a skincare DIY. I've been telling you guys I love doing DIYs. That's my thing and I haven't done any on here and I'm just going to walk you through how this is even becoming a thing. So if you have Twitter and you're into skincare and all that, you most likely follow LA Beautyologist. I love her, okay? I really do love her. She has made me realize how crappy my skincare routine is. And not crappy in the sense of the products that I'm using because I was pretty much investing a lot of my money into it, but I was just getting the wrong products that I technically don't need or I was using the right products in the wrong way. And she, if you did not know, she like created, coined the 60 second rule which just means she's washing your face for 60 seconds, all of this stuff, right? But she's also black, okay? She's a woman of color. So when I see her telling me, okay, you need to do this, you need to do that, I am listening because a lot of people who are of color or are black, we have a lot of the same skin concerns like, you know, anti-aging or hyperpigmentation, I almost had a brain fart. So she uploads a video and she's been tweeting about this for a while so I knew it was coming but she uploads a video about how your toner isn't really your toner and it's crap and you shouldn't be using witch hazel and the one that she used in the thumbnail was actually the only toner I ever used and liked. So, um... So this is my best understanding of why we shouldn't be using witch hazel on her skin after watching her video. One, she mentioned that witch hazel isn't really a toner, it doesn't tone the skin, it doesn't bring down the pH balance, it's still technically cleansing your skin. Um, I believe one time she tweeted, and this was what made me just throw the whole bottle away, she said that it could be more so harmful to the hyperpigmentation. I don't know if she mentioned that in the video, but I swear I can remember her tweeting that, and that's what freaked me out. That's what got me real messed up. And then she also said that a toner essentially is just water with different humectants, which are things that are meant to draw moisture back into the skin. So witch hazel does not tone the skin. It does not bring down the pH balance. It cleanses the skin. Right. Cool. But a lot of times, because we want products that do everything all at once, a lot of the claims that products have and the ingredients that they have don't really do what they set out to do. Like, when she said that, all I could think of was the song, like, Cash bitch you doing too much but like shut up ho because you ain't doing enough like it's doing too much of all the wrong things at once for our skin that's how I processed it but then when she was saying that toner is only water and humectant and she started listing different things like glycerin or hyaluronic acid I was like I have a lot of this stuff in the house <laughs> And I only have it in the house because my sister, hey Karina, she's been doing all these DIYs and we've been doing some of them together. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make my own toner because I'm just trying to get my skin together for 2020, okay? So that is what today's video is. I just kind of wanted to try to explain that. I will do my best to cut that down in editing. But yeah, so we are going to make our own toner. I'm going to try to prop you guys downwards so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to drink some more coffee first because chill. Hey, so these are all the things that we are going to use for this DIY. I have a random, not random, but I have an empty bottle. I picked this up at Daiso yesterday. I just have some water here. I put it in a measuring cup. To be honest, I wish I had distilled water, but I don't. I would have felt much better with distilled water, but this is my first time doing it, so we're just going to try it out. Vegetable glycerin. I'm going to also add in rose water. A little bit of hyaluronic acid this one's from the ordinary then these are extras that I'm not hundred percent sure on so I'm not gonna add a lot of it in we have some vitamin E oil we have rose seed hip oil to be honest I wanted to make my own rose water and I'm trying to like you know, account for that and then a little bit of aloe vera oil I have oily skin these are oils I'm not going crazy with it so let's mix it up <laughs> Okay. 
Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so that was the rose water. I am just eyeballing everything since this is my first time doing it. So I have in the rose water. Then I'm going to add in only one drop of the hyaluronic. I'm going to add in, now for oils, I'm only going to do like one to two drops because I don't really want too much oil in here. I know oil isn't like the best for your skin, but I feel like it can't be too bad. So I'm going to do like one, two, maybe three drops of the rose seed oil. Now we have the vitamin E oil. This one isn't a medicine dropper, so do two squirts of that bad boy. And then aloe vera oil. One, two, three, maybe four drops of that one. Then I'm gonna add in the vegetable glycerin. And this one, I feel like I wanna use more of this than anything else, so just because she has a lot so I'm gonna be a little bit more generous with this bad boy I'm eyeballing about a fourth cup of this and then water oh it smells so good okay now I'm just gonna put on the cap yep and there we go that's basically it okay so I just briefly wanted to explain why I chose the ingredients I chose I chose so water is a basic I'm going based off of what she said in the video that a toner is essentially water and humectant so I knew I wanted to do water for sure initially I was going to make my own rose water but that was because me and my sister were gonna do it together and I was like oh wait you have some rose water I'll just add in some of that so she also recommended rose water toner she recommended a specific one so I was like, you know what I'll add this in it'll make it smell good it'll be good for my skin so we have water and rose water you can do just rose water or you can do like I did water and rose water plain water whatever you prefer because I did not make my own rose water that's the only reason why I added in some of the rose seed hip oil so a lot of estheticians and dermatologists along with LA beautyologists don't recommend essential oils I am aware but I only added in the rose seed hip oil because, or the rose hip seed oil, sorry. I wanted to make my own rose water and since I didn't use solely rose water, I mixed it with other stuff, so that's why I added this in, but it is supposed to be good for like hair, skin, and nails and all of that, so we shall see. Um, then the humectants that I added in, so this is what kind of makes the toner, toner. Um, vegetable glycerin is something known to give a lot of moisture to the skin. I know a lot of naturals use this in their hair as well, like they make their own like conditioners and stuff. They use that. Um, and then hyaluronic acid holds a, holds a thousand times its weight in water. This one's from The Ordinary, so it's hyaluronic acid with B5. To be honest, I was searching all day yesterday for just hyaluronic acid because I know a lot of people sell those like for serums and stuff. I kept finding it mixed with something and I was like, if it's going to be mixed, sure, I'm not spending extra cash. So. That's why I use that one. Vitamin E oil is supposed to be really good for dark marks. So I didn't want to use too much of an oil in this because I have oily skin and again, a toner is just water and humectants, but I still wanted to add in something that I think would be good for me. This just, I don't know. I'm gonna have to cover up the bottle, make it look cute. But yeah, I wanted to find something that would still kind of help me with the issues I have without being an ingredient that I don't need my toner so I added that in and then same with aloe vera gel I don't I know aloe vera is supposed to be really really good for dark spots so I only added in a few drops of that we shook it up we're gonna tighten it because I just felt the drop but we shook it up and now we can spray it on the face and honestly it smells so freaking good smells so good oh my god I don't really need to spray this on my face like obviously I have makeup and stuff on but I just feel like I have to feel it it smells so good I will use this to set my face okay I don't give a fuck um basically that is it that is all that I did for this DIY and I'm really excited I will give you guys updates if you want on how this works out for me but to be honest, I just feel like there are so many random ingredients in skincare today and I guess watching her video made me a little bit more wary to buy something. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just make it. So that's what I did. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.